Hey, what's up, True Experience Nation? It's Richie McKinney teaching you how to experience the most. Look, if you're new around here, welcome. We're glad that you're here. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Now, we focus on three things. That's mindset, freedom, and weight loss. If you like those three things and you vibe with the energy of the way I present these things, then do yourself a favor. Figure out a way to get connected and stay connected because we post content on the regular Guys, we, we're still hitting up on this freedom, right? Extra cast, wealth, uh, money mindset, tip number 13. We've been covering the book, How the Rich Think. The middle class worries about running out of money. The world class thinks about how to get more of it. See, the problem is poor people spend more time thinking about money than rich people. And this is facts. Okay, I think this is something we've covered in, in some of the other chapters that we've been over. But the problem is they worry about what they're going to do if they run out, if they lose their job, if they get sick. They focus on all these negative aspects, whether it be through poor planning or bad luck or Murphy's Law or whatever the case may be. They're constantly in a state of fear, focusing on what would happen if. And it doesn't do you any good. Like it doesn't do you any good to worry about those things. And the other side of that is when you're in that kind of stress, that kind of fear, that kind of worry on a, on a regular basis, it will and can wreak havoc psychologically and physically. I, you, you know, you tend to get, you're worried. Think about somebody who's constantly worried. Don't they seem to be sick more frequently and longer? Like they're just, like I find that people who are the most pessimistic have the most problems. Now, are they pessimistic because they have these problems or do they have these problems because they're, because they're pessimistic? I think it's the latter. See, they're focusing all their ten attention there. And I've said it before. Look, I, there, I don't know a lot about a lot, but the small things that I do know, I know a lot about. And I keep harping on the same whole things because I believe them to be true. They're like core beliefs, principles. One of those things is the law of attraction. If you've never seen The Secret, watch it. It's what it's all about. Um, uh, energy flows where attention goes. And so if your attention is constantly on what you don't want to happen, constantly stressed and worried about what happens if this and if that, and I lose this money and oh, I don't have all this, you attract more of that in your life. You're putting out energy to, in the universe saying this is what you're focusing on. This is what, really what you want. And you bring more of that in. You tend to focus on it more. You tend to see it everywhere. It's your, your gut reaction. When you see something, you, you just think the worst about that situation. Bro, I'm telling you, it's not good. It's just not good on a physical and mental level. Forget money. Like you, you're not going to attract money if that's where you're constantly at. And if you do, you're not going to be able to enjoy it and you're going to end up losing it. Okay? I mean, that's why people who win the lottery are broke. Like not long down the uh, road most of the time. A lot of times we hear a lot of these stories, people win the lottery and then they're being broke. It's because they got bad habits in place, because they got a negative mindset, because they got a scarcity mindset, because they just, they don't know how to attract money, know how to spend it, don't know how to attract it. It says living in fear isn't living, it's surviving. Bro, I'm not trying to survive, I'm trying to thrive. Y'all feel me? Okay? Don't want to live in no fear. And like we've said before, world-class performers, they find problems that are profitable to solve. We say this time and time again. Money comes from value, okay? And so that's what they spend their attention on. Not what happens if I lose this, not on the negative aspects, but they spend all their creative force, energy, and time and focus on solving a problem. That's where their attention goes. And so it seems contradictory when I first start out this video where it says, you know, poor people uh, uh, worry about losing money, rich people worry about getting more. And then right after that, I said, poor people focus on money more. Well, this is what it means. It's not that the wealthy and world-class thinkers are thinking about money itself as much as they are talking about the value they can offer the world. They spend their time on like, what's valuable? What's a problem? Where are people struggling? How can I make it easier? How can I make it more convenient? How can I fix blank? Or what is something I can tap into, a system I can plug into that is solving blank? that allows me to put a lot of value out in the world. That's where their attention is going. And inevitably, 
What happens as a result of that is money is attracted in. That's the deal. I have personally already, since this mindset, I've been going on this for, you know, starting towards the end of December, this month, I've seen an uptick in revenue. I've seen an uptick in engagement. I've seen an uptick in team members. I've seen an uptick in positive vibe from people now working out, more people loving the products, more people getting on the products, more people joining the team, more people making money. It's already started in 30 days from just this shift. And it's not because I didn't put effort in before, we put effort in before. The difference is our mindset around it. And so we're putting out the positive energy. We're not focusing on what we don't want, we're focusing on what we do want. We focus on, okay, what's the issue? What's the problem? How do we solve it? And that's where the attention is going 24 seven. And, and inevitably, the money's already starting to be attracted in even more. And so that's the difference. That's where the focus is and that's where your, your mindset has to be at. So um, the truth is the poor working and middle class spend most of their time thinking about this kind of stuff and obsessing over it. Guys, I can't even begin to tell you how many people I've been around. I've been around both extremely wealthy people and then extremely poor people. And I used to obsess over money a lot more when I had less of it. Because I was worried, man, lawnmower broke down, man, the car broke down. I don't know what we're going to do. How are we going to get this fixed? How am I going to get gas in the car? What are we going to eat? Oh man, like my clothes are messed up. We got to do this. Like it was always, I always could find things that I needed to get and couldn't afford. Couldn't afford. Worried all the time, man, I hope this don't break down. I hope the car don't break down. I hope this, I hope that. I spent a lot more time thinking about it. It was just, it was just, it was just true. Grateful for what I had. Never in a complaining state, but in the back of my mind, there was there was a sense of worry there. And people who are wealthy, who put their attention towards those other things, they're, they're not living in that type of fear, the same type of fear. And so money flows to great ideas like water. The secret is learning how to turn on the faucet. I'm learning how to turn on the faucet. I'm able to pick up momentum. And um, if you haven't, um, and I, I mentioned it in the last video and I, I listen to the podcast every day because when I'm running and stuff. And so I was finishing up, um, uh, Jesse, um, Itzler, the guy who had, who owns the Atlanta Hawks and stuff like that. I was talking about, it was on the very Gary, Gary V podcast. He told another story today about, you know, he said nothing is impossible for him. Like, you know, he don't see roadblocks. He, once he sees them, it's like, how do I get over this? And listening to some of his stories about how he just, sees a need, like he sees something that people want or need, and then he goes and provides that service. So he jumped from this thing to that thing to this thing um, for, for the experience. He was like, oh, here's a problem. Let me do this thing. This would be a cool thing to do. And then in return, he gets the value that he's offering. He gets uh, money in return, okay? And so it was just amazing watching that. So that's somebody who has understood how to turn on the faucet and enjoys that process of turning on the faucet. And so um, anyway, guys, I, I hope you understand that. And like we always say, man, you have to be able to change what you think. You'll change what you'll do. You'll change what you get. Okay, with that being said, I changed the way I thought. And my wife and I plugged into a system and we now get paid money from home, make extra cash on our own time to lose weight and help others do the same. And you can too, and if you're at all, possibly open to getting some of that information, just hit me up, reach out. I'll be glad to send it over there to you guys. Y'all know what it is. Love, peace, and chicken grease. I'm out.